Yo guys, it's me, Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords, but this week we are part of the Beast of Victory, Force of Habit, to always introduce myself that way. Uh, we are in the VDL week two, up against the charging... Charge bugs or the raiding? What are, what are they, Batista? Raiding charging bugs. Oh, okay, that one. So, we're against Guardian of Light. I've got Batista here, as you've already heard. Uh, Solnor is kicking in the chat, waiting to contribute when he can. He's just coming out of work and getting food. Not for work, uni, classes, I don't know. So, he will be joining us sporadically on the go. Uh, this is my team for this week. So, I don't know if you've got any insights on the match, Batista. Um, the big one is that we're like we're playing against an Urshifu team that also has like Sylveon, Salazzle, and Thunder Ethereum. Those are kind of the big threats. And so the idea is to be able to deal with those big offensive threats that are also somewhat disruptive. Yeah, pretty much. Um, it's kind of a annoying team to face off against. Um, Urshifu is a pretty strong mon at the end of the day um, because this is the water variant um, and then they've got the Sylveon which is their t which is their team mascot uh, so all three of us are to face off against the Sylveon at some point um, the rest of the mons are weird I, 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 in my opinion I don't, I don't know how else to really say it um They've got Umbreon, Quillfish, Berserker, Haunter, Flechindo, Decidui, so it's kind of a weird pick a, a, pick a mix there. Uh, but they still have some really solid mons like Salazzle, uh, Thunderous Therian is kind of scary, it's always going to be scary, especially with Ter Terror Man. Um, it is a threat, and like, trying to calc for the, like, it's Terror, Terror Flying is really annoying. Um, it's also just an annoying mom with like Volt Absorb. It's decently fast, especially offensive. I hate it. And then you've got on the up flip side, you've got a physically offensive Urshifu Rapid, which just hits like a truck. Uh, they've got some really good support tools. Fake out Salazzle, which has got some decent uh, glass cannon power. Um, but like they've also got Umbreon and Sylveon, the double evolutions, which are quite bulky and hard to take care of unless you've got like some stab moves into them. So yeah, uh, I don't really know where, <laughs> where else to go with that. Um, my team this week, as you can see here, we made some trades from the uh, first week. We've got Cloritza and Neuven joining us. Joining us. Um, I guess kind of my game plan is to try and establish some speed control, or at least gain information from game one. So... I think in a light Typhlosion with the Scarf Eruption with Frisk, allowing me to at least see their items and allow me to dictate the flow of the game from there. Um, it should allow me to see what's Covert Cloak, what's their, what their items are, and like we've already having Terror information to us, it should be a little bit nicer to know. Um, aid me a little bit in like deciphering, well, is this Urshifu Sash? Is this um, Sylveon Leftovers or Cart? Is it Throat Spray? Is it is the Thunderous holding a Life Orb? You know, so it should uh, be, allow me to be a bit more intuitive of my moves from that point. Then you've got Rillaboom, which is a good support for it because it gives me some fake out pressure. It's not the fastest mod in the world, admittedly, but luckily Typhlosion is a Scarf Mon with um, a Ghost Type, so it can't be faked out itself either. Um, Cloritz is a really good uh, offensive piece, but can be pretty good defensively here this week. So it's like mid-range speed. Uh, we got the Terror Electric, uh, so we can hit like the Urshifu and stuff um, and reduce our weaknesses. But we've also got the Wakon Berry because I'm not gonna lie, Thunderous hits like a truck. Uh, but Cloritz is able to hit back pretty hard with Ice Beam itself. Um, Iron Hands. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a decent Iron Hand set in my opinion. Nothing too wacky, nothing too wild. It is got some speed invested on it, so it's a little bit less bulky than usual. But the Assault Vest does help with that. Um, it's there to pair with Noivern because Noivern, honestly, is a really good piece to help me get some speed control. It could be good on lead. It can also be good for a mid game speed up control option. Uh, we do have Taunt to try and disrupt a little bit. Air Slash and Draco is just good stab options uh, this week for it. And then a fun little mode, which I don't know if it'll see any uh, lighter day, but we've got the Rev Rev Varum, um, 
which kind of just keeps Sylveon a bit honest, you know? Like, it's got the poison and st steel type potential into the Sylveon. I do expect, like, a Terra Ground coming from the Sylveon, but I could be wrong. Um, but, like, Filter Rev Room with Choice Band, Self Destruct, is Terra Normal, it picks up the Oko on a lot of Mons, like, even, like, double Okos. Um, so, like, if I can get that to a decent position, it'd be pretty nice, especially with, like, uh, Covert Cloak Noivern with Tailwind or Typhlo uh, with Telepathy or next to Typhlosion with Frisk Scarf. Like, I, I, it gives me that little bit of uh, protection against my own Mons, get rid of them on, and then hopefully make, uh, the, make it 2v3, like, at the very least, so. And with that, uh, anything else you would like to add, Batista? Uh, I have more confidence in River Room doing work, but other than that, I think you're about good. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, well, I'm going to hit up Guardian, and we'll get this match underway. All right, guys, we're back here. we just matched up with Guardian now, selecting the team. Uh, he has just sent through the Terra types. He is Sylveon with water, Salazzle with fire, Urshifu with water, Flachinda with flying... Thunderous with flying and Decidui with dark. I, it's kind of a sad to see the Thunderous with Terra flying. I do think that's really good into my team. Um, I don't actually remember if uh, Rillaboom can take that or not. I don't think it can. Uh, I no don't world. think it can. No we, we did the damage calc. No yeah, I think we did the damage calc with, with uh, Solonar and it couldn't take it with an AV. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, so. was, that was no damage boosting item too, so... Well, we're here. Uh, it's kind of annoying to see the Fletchinder, honestly, because I really didn't want to be dealing with like a Tailwind mode on lead. <clears throat> um, especially as my Fake Out is slower than a potential Quick Guard, but I still feel pretty confident with the Typhlosion lead with the Rillaboom. Because of, he can't go for Quick Guard and Tailwind in the same turn. So yeah. like... And I should know if there's a Covert Cloak or not, so like, it, Typhlosion should be pretty safe to get like a um, attack off before them. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gotta be careful. Uh, sorry, just gotta be careful of the. Uh, just gotta be careful of like a uh, Brave Bird or like a uh, Priority Flying type move into Typho, which could weaken Eruption's power. So that is that true. Mind. That is very true. I'll give you that. Yeah. So there is oh, yeah. that option. I'm a little bit torn between bringing Iron Hands in the back or Chloritzer because they do have terror, two Terra Water Mons on the team. So, like, Terra Electric Chloritzer seems pretty fun. But, especially with the Ice Beam for the Thunderous. I think yeah. both Mons are fine. Just bring them both, right? Yeah, I, think yeah, I just wasn't sure if I wanted Noivern in the back or not. But. I, I think it's fine to just do that. Like Yeah, I've got no know. fake out on the Iron Hands, but it could be okay. Um. It's not like I'm going to be able to get anything else out of that. It's fine. So. Let's go. Let's yeah. have some fun. We'll, we'll just let's see if they're Eevee Light, Focus Ash, or Covert Cloak on that. On the bird. My guess is they're, they're probably Covert Cloak on it. Which makes sense. Yeah. There's... But if they are Covert Cloak if they're covert cloak, you can still fake them out uh, and re re take away their uh, gale wind. Yep, that's be better dress is yep. Sash on the um, it's sash on Salazzle and covert cloak on the Fletchinder. All right, as revealed. Um, I th I could just go for the eruption, but like it's gonna put me in a bad position for the following turn. Uh, not to click Shadow Ball here. Yeah. The I think the best bet is just to click Shadow Ball. I just don't know who into. Like, I can break the Sash here, potentially. Rillaboom, like. Oh, I can break Sash if he fakes out my Rillaboom anyway. With So, yeah. I can Shadow Ball the Fletcher, yeah. I think. Because if he fakes yeah. out Rillaboom, I'm Rocky Helmet, so. Yeah, yeah. And then good shot. <clears throat> yeah, so he does that. Rocky Helmet. It breaks his own Sash anyway. Yeah, he gets the Tailwind up, which is fine. Tailwind's a bold play instead of not attacking into the Typho, but I think that you're still getting value out of Shadow Balling here. That's some good damage there. 
It's actually good that you don't get him off the board immediately because now that spot is not nearly as useful. Exactly, exactly. I am still locked in with the um, Shadow Ball, but I'm honestly, I'm pretty okay with that. Um, Rillaboom is in a bit of a tough situation, so Rillaboom might have to swap. Yeah, I think that's fine. So I might just go for a Shadow Ball into this uh, Salazzle this turn, because I don't know what the Fletch really does. I'm thinking about bringing Chloritzer out, just to take the Fire-type move. I, I like it. I like uh, Chloritzer switch out as well, because of uh, potential Will-O-Wisp in the spot too. That's a good which point. Hands Oh, knock off. That's a good that's a good move. That's a good move. Gets rid of my choice scarf, but he, which he now knows I have. Here comes the brave bird. <sighs> that's some damage, isn't it? So you get a, a double knockout here. <clears throat> Only two turns of T wind left to stall out too. Crit? Yeah. I don't know if that mad. Like I know Slazzle's not the bulkiest, but it's only an eighty base power move. <laughs> We'll take it regardless. Hi, right, Thundy comes out here, is my guess. Oh, yeah, Thunderous has got to come out. Yeah. <sighs> yeah Shifu. I could see myself swapping in um, Rillaboom into one of these slots. Yeah, I, I think I think Rillaboom switching into uh, Typhlosion is pretty safe. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to do that. Cycle, then I can fake out the next turn. I'm going to protect Chloritzer. I know it's in front of um, a Urshifu, but I don't think he attacks Chloritzer on this turn. This turn. Terra Grass isn't looking too bad in the back, but it's just the Thunderous with the Terra Flying, which is a bit of an issue. Okay, so we have to see the Thunderous Terra first. Oh, fuck me. That's okay, like... Yeah, you're down a Pokemon. You're down the Mon, but they're at. Minus There's nothing I could have done there anyway. Like I couldn't. I couldn't get a switch into that, into that slot. Ooh. There's the okay. Life Orb. Life Orb. I get to see the Urshifu's item if I bring out um, Hades in a minute. Terra Grass. Do I? Am I able to live attacks? I can fake yeah. out. Yeah, I think. I think. Um, you're pr Right there, the uh, Iron Hands is probably a fair switch in here with the fake out support. Odds are he probably just double protects anyway, so. He's Terra Water and he's Terra Flying. I, I think Wild Charge into to, um, Urshifu is pretty safe. I think it's the more likely not to be... Uh, I think it's the more likely to possibly be like... Um, you know, I, no I wonder if he's Choice Band. I wonder if he's Choice exactly. Band. Choice Band, Choice Scarf type thing. And I've already seen Covert Cloak somewhere else. So I know the Thunder... And I've seen it's Life Orb. Okay, so he's Detect on there, so... Double. Yeah, and double. he's... He's actually faster with Zershifu. Hmm. That means the that means it's a modest thunderous. Does your typhlosion not speed it then? I don't think I don't think it's modest. I think that it's probably speed creeping typho, which is slower than Urshifu. Yeah, that's a good point. Typho is not looking great here. Not gonna lie, in the back. Um, I think I need to try and kill this Thunderous, but then, what do you do, man? The knockoff is really good.
Yeah. I think it goes for the terror flying into the rail boom. Oh. Oh, he tried to predict the terror grass. And the ice spin is a really nice touch, I'll give it that. I really hope this Ice Punch can get the KO. I don't think it will. Depends on Ice Orb trip, I think. Ah, uh, no, it's pretty close. There we go. Yep. Cool. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. There we go. I think you should be in pretty good shape here. Yeah, because I think I can Terra Grass the Typhlo, uh, Terra Blast, and go for a Wild Charge, and that should pick up the KO. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. He's, he's, he's minus defenses here, so exactly. it's And it's a Mystic Water. We do find out its item. Super critical. We found out all the items. <laughs> Yeah, so we have the Mystic Water, the Life Orb, the Oak Sash, and the Cobra Poke. Yep. Not enough. Not even enough. And that's nice to know that that actually does straight. Oh, it's a crit! Damn, that doesn't help me. They were minus two. Minus two, minus two anyway. Yeah, yeah. So that yeah, was always yeah. going to kill. It was, yeah, it was going to kill. That <sighs> well, we won game one. I could lead the rev. I could try the rev mode out because I can always just parting shot into like the slash. Hey, he was so weird in that game one. He led like two relatively passive fire types. Just a just a curious play. You could like lead Clawitzer here pretty yeah. safely. Yeah, you are right. <sighs> we lost Solner. That's all right. He'll be back. Um, I could see Clawitzer being a pretty decent lead. Poor Claw didn't get much action. And like I've got Wakanberry for the Thunderous, so I think mm -hmm. I, I think I bring Claw on lead with this thing and Typhlosion in the back. Cause I can do the self-destruct play by by switching out Claw it's if I want to, or I can part and shot. Uh, and then, also has protect. Yeah, I have got protect and Claw it, so you're correct. And then it's a case of do I want Iron Hands or do I want Rillaboom? Iron Hands actually took those attacks pretty well. Yeah, I think I think you want Iron Hands generically. Um, like the big question is just this: is um, Typhlosion the best in the back as a um, because if they get Tailwind, it's a little awkward. Mm, it is a little awkward, isn't it? If they don't get Tailwind, it's it's a great mod back though, so it's like kind of up to you on that aspect. Just have to be able to stall out Tailwind if that's the attitude. Yeah, like, which I'm not able to do with no, uh, with only Protect and Claw. And if I go for the Self Destruct Roots, I might have to be later game, later game to do that. Uh, but I don't really know if Rillaboom is great. I would say either Typho or uh, Noivern in the back. I think both are reasonable. All right, well, try Noivern out. It's a very different gameplay. This game plan, this one, definitely. Well, it's not even what I plan to do. We'll see how it plays out. Oh, he well, leads the decidue. Interesting. Yep. <clears throat> so no, no boom, I guess. No boom. 
I'm I'm decent speed. I think I'm faster than a Decidueye with my uh, my mom, but I'm not faster than Chloritza than um, Slazzle. No, certainly not. <laughs> hmm. Kind of wish I had Noivern here, to be honest. Yeah, Noivern would be really, really nice. Um... I wonder if I survive this. That's fine. Yeah, it wasn't a fire move there. That's that's all I really care about. Yeah. And there's the leaf blade. Yep. Just like have to be. Now. Just have to like be I... a little bit careful of um. Getting hit by a um, fire type move with, like if it's overheat. I don't know if you have that. You might live flamethrower or um, heat wave, but I don't know if you'd live in overheat. From the, uh, the, uh, Salazzle. Salazzle. Yeah, that's the only problem, isn't it? Uh, it's a peculiar position to be in. I, I should be okay. A lot of damage. It is a lot of damage. We could probably get Claw back in here, no? I mean, Hands is not very threatened either, but... I don't want to get will o -Wist on Hands. It's revealed. Fake Out, Knock Off, Heat Wave. Okay, there's only one other move it could have. And Wisp does seem pretty reasonable. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know if Ice Beam kills a AV Decidueye. Definitely doesn't kill an AV one, but... Definitely doesn't kill a regular one either. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to protect. Just to bait it out. Uh, it's, it's Terra Dark and the Decidueye. Terra Fire on the Salazzle. He has to have Shadow Sneak on his Decidueye. There's no way he'd bring it if he didn't have Shadow Sneak on it. Or the Typhlo. Hmm. <laughs> what if Decidueye has Tailwind too? It'd be crazy if he brought two Tailwind Setters. I, it could have, it could have. Nope, just knocks off your cloak. Okay. So I'm faster now. I'm I'm really tempted to tear my um to tear a Chloritzer. I think that's reasonable. I agree. I just don't know if I should go for the ice beam onto uh, well Decidueye is weak now. Decidueye yeah. is weak. Yeah, I think Thundee is the bigger threat. Uh, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get the KO. Uh, well, Life Orb should kill it. Life Orb should kill it. I don't know if you'll get the KO here. I this don't think it, not... I don't. I don't think I'll get the KO, but I think um, Life Orb should kill itself. I'm not sure Life Orb will either, because um, you're not getting a boost on the Ice Beam from Mega was... Launcher. So we'll. Depends I think we'll on have to just... bulk. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see how bulky this guy is. Hmm. What Terra? Oh. Wow. Oh. Dark. Oh, I think he's doing it to, to try and survive a hit here. From uh, Noivern? I, I think it was for like a combined attack, maybe. Oh, mm. Sucker Punch was nice. Okay, right, trying to get the kill on Noivern. It's minus one, though. Yeah. <laughs> this fucking guy, dude. <laughs> this situation is so sad. I think you're right about it being AV, though. 
Corn I'm not Ooh. sure Wild Bolt gets or the Life Orb gets the kill here. I really hope it does. No. <laughs> All right, that's fine. I, I've got Tailwind up though, haven't I? Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. I so I think I just bring out Zeus. Yeah, sounds good. Agree. Yeah, because you threatened the Decidui now with the super effective stab physical damage, which is a big deal. Uh, what's he got? Salazzle in the back, and I don't know his other mon. So, drain punch you and just water pulse. Yeah, I think water pulse seems like the safest. We can, can I, I think this is the last turn of Tailwind, though. That's the only my only issue. Mm -hmm. We can probably assume Urshi is the last one. Is my guess. And I think he protects here his um, thunderous. Because he thinks I've got fake out. Yeah, likely could see a sucker punch as like a last ditch attack into Clawitzer. Nope. No, but he doesn't. I'm pretty sure Thundy's faster. See no reason yeah. to shouldn't kill. Yep. Good job, hands. You have one more turn to tell one? Might do. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? I think you could, because you uh, didn't set up Tailwind on turn one. You set it up on turn two. Mm. You're oh, right. it's Sylveon. Oh, I do have one more turn of uh, Tailwind. Okay. I think I just heavy slam the Sylveon, because he's already used his Terror. Yeah, no, definitely. And I just go for the water pulse into Thunder again. If it switches into Slazzle, Slazzle dies. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Revel I don't think Heavy Slazzle. That's fine. It was, you can, I was you can say, Revel looks, Revel looks way better in the back here. Mm. Just Slazzle, I've got to be can, careful of. I was going to say, as long as we can get rid of the Laz here. I think he should have gone for the double protect there on the Thunderous. I think um, my hands is still faster than Sylveon. Depends on how fast the Sylveon is invested. I mean, I've got 118 EVs on hands speed. The only thing I will say is that that uh, Salazzle still has um, its sash yeah. intact. And. Which means it's going to take two turns to kill it, and I think it can get a hyper voice into an attack. Hyper voice will do a big damage into hands, because he's got he, he's got a fake out. He's got a fake out. Oh. Which is annoying, because I've got to do this. I think this is a pretty decent play. You're either breaking Sash or you're killing the Sylveon. So yeah. This gets it down to Sash. Oh, come on, Pulse. You could have confused there. Unlucky. So I, 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 do, I do move before. I do move before. Oh, oh that's fuck. Crit. That's a crit. That's a I was going to say that crit. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, yeah I think the crit. I think the crit screws you here. Yeah, you need a hickey weirdness now. I should have swapped in. Um, this thing to take the fake out. I should have, I should have gone for the fake out. I think yeah. the play here is protect self, protect self destruct. I think that's the play. Yeah, get your get yourself a little heat wave miss action. Come on, heat wave. Miss. No. Uh, yeah. That's unfortunate. That was an unfortunate crit. Yeah, I get, that's got to be like thinking. it's got to be like a uh, pixie plate on that thing as well because that did a lot of damage. Um, I think that's pretty reasonable. 
It, it might even be specs. We no, it's not because it protected it. It protected. Oh, yeah. You're right. Oh, he's, he, he went knockoff for the item, the info game. He knows some what on. Well, does he? Yeah. Damn. So, yeah. It was looking good for a moment, and then it didn't. <laughs> no, no, so you win. You win that game if he. Uh, it you all depends. Like, do, do, it all depends on whether I live the following heat wave. Yeah, I, I, maybe maybe the right play was just to, to to read the fake out and switch out. Yeah, but even then, like, I don't know how I can win from that right that, that, that there. I think what we learned is that Reva is dog water into this, into what he brought. Reva wasn't even that bad. It's just that I got caught out of position, out of tailwind, and out of um, out of tailwind, and in front of Slazzle. That that's the only real issue there. But the problem was is that I couldn't get a because if he led to Situi, which was such a pain, it wasn't worth going for the self destruct. It's yeah. not worth it going for the for the fake out either. So. So, um, I don't know, Neuburn seems like it had been good into the lead last game, it but been, I don't yeah. know if they switch it up. I'm still going to bring Neuburn, though, I think. I was going to say, in general, Neuburn is pretty decent as lead here. I don't know. We could always do Neuburn. Like, yeah. I, I think they have the Sucker Punch to play around the Scarf um, on the year uh, Typhlosion. That was the plan. Yeah, the Sucker Punch was pretty nice. I give him that. And the Terra Dark. I would say Neuvern with like, yeah, maybe, maybe you guys just go for the boom here, honestly, just see what happens. If he doesn't lead Decidueye. Or fake out. There's a lot of things here, <laughs> it's just a bit like, oops, a lot of things could go wrong with this lead. But I'm not sure what else I can really do. I, I'm Thunderous is proven to be a little bit difficult. I think he goes back to the Fletchinder lead. Oh no. Honestly, Self-destruct isn't even that bad here. <laughs> it is because of the ghost, because of its ghost. Yeah, but I think just, I think just honestly, like, Zen Headbutt is not bad and to break the sash. He had both. <laughs> Sneak mm. and, uh, So we know the full I could then. flinch him. I could flinch him. That'd be, That'd be real good. pog, Rev. Rev, if you flinch, if you flinch, this would be pog. Fuck sakes, Rev. No flinch. We can probably reasonably assume that the... The, excuse me, the Decidueye is um, Assault Burst. Yeah. Um, what does he swap out into? That's the question over on the liver side. Uh, hard to say. I think, I think Sucker Punch does KO here, funny enough. Switch into hands is a baller play. Yeah. And then you're also baiting Terra Dark here too from the uh, Decidueye with the uh, Air Slash. Protect was its last move. Oh, there it is, no Wisp. That's good. Alright, we could get a flinch here too. <laughs> Sadly, we are never lucky enough. Uh, 
I don't want to take any more damage on Neuven, but Neuven's the only thing I've got faster than his team, so I'm going to swap it out, bring in uh, this guy, and I go for so. an Ice Punch into the Robin Hood, I think, because I think Salazzle switches out. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Yeah, I like I, it. I know, I'm, I know I'm sacking the Rev here. Well, well, I, out, I, th I, think, I think he Shadow Sneaks. Oh, he, he went for the double, double. protect. You. Yeah. I'm Reva. You got this. Oh, fuck. Yes, okay. <laughs> Let's go, Rev. Right, so there goes there goes this priority machine. You have one turn of Tailwind after this, right? Do you know what? Do you know what I do have here? Self destruct and Noivin switching. Yeah, he probably just protects uh, on this last turn here and switches out Laz. Or, or protects with Slazzle since they failed the protect. Yeah, he could just double here. Triple. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a. I know. Well, I know. I'm saying like double. Pro I'm saying double. Both mods protect. How many turns of trick room we got? <sighs> Tailwind. One. You should have yeah. one more left. Yeah, he he definitely he definitely goes for the protect here, doesn't he? Make the hard read and switch back into Noivern. <laughs> so that's a really risky read, but it could definitely pay off. Uh, I guess it's not really that risky, is it? Because you threaten like a double KO here if he doesn't double protect. So yeah, let's see it. All right, there's protect one. And even if this one is not a protect, it's okay. Because you oh, yeah. that spot. Yep. Ooh, okay, so now you can get Tailwind back up. Uh, neither of these mons get on fake out priority, so. I think that's reasonable. I think it was also reasonable to uh, kill the Salazzle. A wild charge into the Salazzle slot because you have so many mons who can't protect and you no longer have a covert cloak. Yeah. I think this is generally fine though. Um, again, you probably don't kill, but you you'd probably kill with like a tick of life orb. So I assume that Hands is just very strong. So I, I, I'm, I'm counting on Iron Hands being strong here. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> so what you draft him as your tier one mon for. Yep, so this is switch out into likely Urshifu. Material Guo. Is that Guo? Sylveon? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sylveon. We haven't well, seen a Terry yet. Start... I was going to say, now Reva's starting to look even better. He probably just Wild Bolts here. Or maybe Psychics if he has it. <sighs> That's that's in range of a life orb. That's in range of a life orb. It misses. Oh. Uh, it misses Noivern. Huge, 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 huge. Yes. Now. Well, now you can just switch out the Iron the hands. hands, right, to keep it safe from Hyper Voice. He has fake mm -hmm. out here, and there's nothing you can really do about that with the Noivern, but. Uh, I th this can this wins though with just a terra normal self destruct. Uh, I, uh, that's fair. I think it's fine to bring in the uh, Klotzer. Does it win? Both of his mods have protect. So. That's a good point. That's a good point. I should have I should have swapped out into uh, other month, but well. It's fine. I think if I can get rid of the Salazzle, um, I can win. But it's just it's, it's just getting to that point in it. Oh wait. Oh okay. shit! That's all, that, that's all I needed. Was okay. I need? I just needed to get rid of Salazzle. Yep. <clears throat> okay. There we go. All right, and now you have uh, hands in the back, which always wins. With Terra Grass. He could. He could. I was gonna say he could Terra. Is he Terra Water? He could Terra Water, but you could just like Terra Grass, and you'll live all of his moves. And now, now you're right. Now Reva does just win because Poison Jab from Ban just does too much damage. 
<clears throat> yeah, nice, nice. There's no reason to not wild charge here, right? Yeah, wild charge just to... Like Terragross wild charge, because, I mean... It does You're neutral right. damage regardless, and water pulse is still good into non-Terra, so... So, like, 30%. You're right. You're right. But either way, you have this unlock. It doesn't matter. The ball of place, which protects. the ball, it, it could crit me and fuck me up. But like, I'm not being funny. As long as I can get an attack off, I should be okay because Rev always outspeeds and kills. Facts. As long as I've got some chip on the Sylveon, which you're definitely gonna get with these two mons because they're both proven to be faster than the Sylveon. You can detect all you want. I'm I'm faster than you. Um, Rev actually did some stuff this game. Yeah, yeah. the uh... it lived in those attacks. It yeah, got the the, sil the thing you down to Sash. Our secondary mascot doing some work. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a bold play to do the hard switch into Neuvern, but I, I he had to protect there. He had to. Yeah. This might not kill. This might not kill. Oh, it probably it probably doesn't, but Oh it does. Never mind. Iron Hands is the GOAT. <laughs> we Let's never go. should have doubted. <laughs> Let's go! We got a, we got the win, guys. Yeah, yeah. 3 0. Let's get it. Nice we did the sweep. Yeah, the three we all won this week. I feel better having won. I know I it took me a bit longer to get there with a two one versus U two's two O's. But you know what? A win's a win. I'm happy I didn't let the side down this week. Yeah. Okay. We uh we all pulled up. <laughs> Baller switch though, honestly. Like I, I was like, he's gonna double protect. He has to. the way he's been playing, he was like he he was definitely double protecting that turn. So like it was a bold switch, but like he was risking way too much not you know, protecting. Mm -hmm. I felt really justified doing that and it proved to work because it allowed Neuven to get another Tailwind off and that was that, that allowed me to just command the rest of the match from there. Yeah, it was good to keep Neuven to preserve it. Uh -oh. Yes, I knew, I knew I'd need Neuven for later game because of, I, I was like, hmm, air speed. <laughs> I, I don't have it without Neuven. Right, yeah. Nah, you, you, you made some great switches and you know just so much position in that last game. This was definitely the hardest yeah. match of our uh, our week. <laughs> Guardian's a decent player when he uh, honestly like I, I've played him a few times and I've lost to him in a final before. Uh, so I, I, he was a little bit of a bogey player for me, and it's like trying to just overcome that as well. So uh, that was pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Um, well. It really surprised not to see any more Urshifu from his side of the board. I felt like the Urshifu was. Especially with the ice spinner for Neuvern, I felt like it was pretty. Decent. Yeah, that was so, a, like the ice spinner was a really good tech. I honestly forgot that he got ice spinner. Um, I definitely did not. Just I I I knew it in the like uh, I knew I knew when building the team, but like the team's been built now for like better part of half a week. So like I remember knowing it, but I, I was just thinking, oh, ice sponge, and I was like, oh, it gets ice spinner. Of course it does. No, so, I, I yeah. oh yeah no I literally used ice earlier this season and I didn't even know get Ice Spinner. Well, your yeah, Urshifu different. doesn't get Ice Spinner. Oh, Only the okay. water one does. I was going to say, okay. yeah, yeah, yours is dark. That's, that's why. That's why I didn't know. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it from me, guys. Thank you both for joining me here today. Yeah, sure thing. We uh, that's actually that's actually done us really well into um uh next week's by the way because a lot of teams are finished on three three so like they're all on twelve points that gives us a two point advantage across all the teams. Oh word, yeah, yeah like I think yeah. it shoots us into like the top three. Let's go. So and then we're gonna get another one this week as well. Yeah. Week Redemption. Hopefully so. But yeah, so it it puts us at third with this win. Thought so. Well, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.